And the next most important tool to remember as a driver is the pedestrian is always right. <coughs> so all give, always give way to pedestrians. Like in business, the customer is always right. The same thing is true in driving. The pedestrian is always right. So always surrender the way to all pedestrians. Although legally, if they are using the pedestrian lane. But you have to uh, adjust the rule in our situation. In the Philippines, everywhere is a pedestrian lane. Kung saan sa tumawin ka? Pedestrian lane yun. Pedestrian lane, pedestrian lane. Basta tumawin ako, pedestrian lane. In most developed countries, they are so cautious about their rights, about uh, everything. Uh, if you are a pedestrian, Tumisan, nahulog lang ang paa mo sa pedestrian lane. You have no intention of crossing the road. Nahulog nga lang eh. But all the drivers will stop. Ugali na nila yan, all the drivers will stop. Wait for you to cross the road. Kaya tinitignan mo sila, bakit sila tumitig eh? Ay, nahulog pa rin pa. So if you are not crossing, you give the signal. Go ahead, I'm not crossing anyway. But they will not move their vehicle unless you give the signal. That is how they respect the pressure. In the Philippines, nasa gitna ka na. Kung maganda ka, pagbibigyan ka nila eh. Sige, may sige. Pagpangit ka, pangit. O tumatawin ka pa ka nila. Sasagasaan ka talaga. And yet, if you follow this decree, the moment you reach the court, the pedestrian is always right. There are only few isolated cases under our uh, legal jurisprudence where the driver uh, in the Philippines won over the pedestrian. In most cases, ang pinapanalo ng judge, the pedestrian. Uh, uh, there are only isolated cases where the driver won over the pedestrian. Not because he's right, but because the judge cannot rule otherwise. Where are these isolated cases? Imagine South Super Highway. Both sides of the highway is fenced. Precisely to prevent pedestrians, carabaos, uh, boats, uh, crossing the, the, the uh, highway. Eh, yung mga squadron na pinutasa nila yun. Yung best wire doon, yung bakot. Ah. Eh, mga estudyante ng social cut sila. Biglang tumawin sila sa South Super Highway. Tatlong bata na sa kasaan. After several years of court litigation, ang nanalo ang driver. Because it is obvious, you are not supposed to be there. Bawal doon. Another case along Edsa Corner, Bonnie Avenue. May overpass there. Dapat you are supposed to climb the overpass to cross Edsa. Tumawit siya sa ilalim ng Edsa. Nasa kasaan siya. Ang nanalo dyan ang driver. Halata na pa rin, dapat wala ka sa ilalim dun eh. But these are isolated cases. In most cases, ang pinapanan ng judge, yung pedestria. Why? Not because he is correct, but because of for humanitarian consideration. Alamari namang namatay na, natalo pa. Sinagasaan mo na na ako. Ang pinatay mo na ako. Nakalibing na ako. Ako ang magbabayad sa'yo. Yan, kapinapanalo sila. Kaya be careful as a driver, always respect Felicia. Because the moment you are involved in an accident, resulting in physical injury and death of Felicia, ang pinapanalo ng judge, yung Felicia. So these are what we call rules of right of way. So the moment you become a driver, every time there's a conflict, you are not sure whether it's your right of way or not, think about all these rules, kung anong applicable sa situation na iyo. But for every rule, there are always exceptions. Who are exempted to, to all these rules? One, the three. Best come, best serve. Memorial ko yan. Number one rule yan. Best come, best serve. 
kararating lang ng tren na ito ah. Dapat titigil ang tren na ito para sa akin. Ay, titigil ang tren. Sarili niyang rin yun. Private road niya yun. Uh, exempted sila. <coughs> Ikaw ang nakikitawid sa kanya. Hindi siya nakikitawid sa iyo. Uh, private lane niya yun. You have to give way to all these moving trains because it is not easy for the train to stop the track and ordinary car. And secondly, uh, the moment you are crossed by a moving train, they are not even required by to stop the train, pick up the passenger, uh, the injured person, bring him to the hospital. You cannot even file a case against the railroad manager because talo ka sumulato. Yeah. An ambulance, a fireman, a, a police car, if the siren is on, go into an emergency, surrender the right of way. Even a taxi driver, a family driver, a chief driver, if there is a patient at the back of the hospital, keep on going his horn, bring the child to the hospital, surrender the right of way. But only in case of an emergency. If you are driving along a, a particular street at nagbanggaan kayo ng mobile car, if the siren is not on, he's just patrolling the area, he's just roaming the place, uh, when you reach the court, uh, there is no such thing as policeman. He will just be treated like an ordinary driver because there is no accident. Uh, hindi po kayo nagpanggaan kayo ng police car eh, porque polisya manalano siya. No, if he's just driving around that area, patrolling the area, he is just considered like another driver. He is not a policeman, he is just another driver. Uh, ngayon, kung nakasirena siya, ginigit-git mo yung polis, ba iba na yun? Uh, bawal na yun. But under normal security and conferences, uh, when you reach the court between a policeman and an ordinary driver, he will just be treated like another person. So that is the meaning of right of way. But the question now is, alam na alam mo daw ikaw ang may karapatan, pero mapilit pa rin daw siya, ano daw ang gagawin mo? Like for instance, you are driving your car on a one-way road. This is your normal route. Every day you go to the school office, you always use this one-way road. Since it is one-way road, uh, you can either overtake until you arrive which ever is clear. You don't even check the coming vehicle because you presume there is not. So you are driving your car along this one-way road. And then, palipat-lipat ka ng linya. Uh, after several kilometers, here comes another car going against the flow of traffic. Sumalubong siya sa one-way. Siyempre, alam mo, one-way ito, sumasalubong siya. Siyempre, magagalit ka. Lukulubong ka, ha? One-way ito, pinapasukan mo. Papatayin oh, kita doon. Kahit napapatayin ko ito, wawasakin ko ito, kasi ito, walang sabi. Wala akong sabi din sa patas. Because he's going against a one-way road. Papatayin ko ba? Ipipilit mo ba? Na one-way yan? Ipamumukha mo sa kanyang baling ginagawa niya. Baka naman hindi niya alam na one-way yan. You just warn him, Brad, one way yan. Eh ano? Sabi niya, malukulukan na lang kayo ito ah. Lalang magilid ako no. Ah, hindi ba? May pulis sa kabilang kato ah, mag-iuter niya. So under the question, never insist on it now. The answer is, even if you are sure, if it's your right of way, do not, never insist on it. Huwag mong pinipilit. Pagbigyan mo. You just treat all drivers like what God is treating us. Diyos ko, patawaran mo po siya. <laughs> hindi niya alam ang kanyang ginagawa. Ikaw alam mong batas eh. Siya hindi siya marunong. Hindi niya alam. Pagbigyan mo yung mga tanga. Tandan mo. Arul yan sa buhay. Huwag mong kalabanin yung mga tanga. Kasi magiging tanga ka rin. Yan. Hindi niya alam eh. Avoid propos. <coughs> Never insist on it. It's the correct answer. Next. The best driving technique when turning left or turning right while traveling along the highway is letter A, to signal your intention as you make the turn. Letter B, 
to give the electrical signal or hand signal 30 meters before reaching the corner. Letter B, gesture, do not signal anymore. What is the answer? Yes. If your answer is letter A, to signal your intention as you make the turn, you are on a state signal letter. Huwag ka na mag-signal. Mag-letter ka na lang. It is useless. The, uh, the meaning of signal is you let everybody know about your plan. So the answer is letter B. 30 meters before reaching the corner, nakasignal ka na. To give them enough allowance to react. So 30 meters from here, I'm turning left. So if you are not, avoid me. Shy away from my car. So that is the correct distance. That at least 30 meters before reaching the corner, nakasignal ka na. Ngayon, kung liligo ka sa kakapalasin signal, huwag ka nang pagsignal. It is useless anyway. They have no time to react anymore. Next. If the driver ahead of you, you are the one, you are the one doing it. It is the driver ahead of you. Extends his left arm straight out like that. You are very sure that he's going where? Turn left on the next intersection. Turn next to its intersection. The next question is also a very important question. <coughs> and every driver must also uh, get notice because <coughs> it is a basic law. In your case, since you are really determined to learn how to drive, you know, determination is very important. Para matutukay ka agad. Kailangan determined ka. What is the meaning of determination? Yung leche ya. Biglang namatay ang husband mo. Ha? Ikaw hindi ka marunong mag-drive. Kung buhay mo, dinadrive ka ng husband mo. Ha? Bigla siyang namatay. Pagkalipin niya, yung kotse nakaparada ilang linggo na dyan. Nobody can drive you. You have no family driver. Ha? So, mapipilitan ka yung mag-drive. Kasi wala na mag-drive sa'yo. So, you are determined to learn how to drive. Because if I don't, walang magdadrive sa akin, determination niya. Let's say, nag-apply ka as detail man, or uh, uh, yung mga medical rep, uh, pinipigil ka ng kotse pag medical representative ka. Uh, pag hindi ka marun magdrive, they will not give you the car. So, kailan mapilitan ka ngayon mag-aral magdrive? Uh, uh, since you are really determined how to drive, you are not only attending the actual driving lessons, which is 5 days, 7 days, 10 days or 15 days, one hour driving lessons a day. Much more, you are here to attend the seminar, which is 10 meetings, one hour and a half per session, as required by the LTO. Because under the LTO regulations, we cannot really complete your actual driving lessons unless you finish this 15 hours last of lecture. Because what we can teach you inside the car is just the ski, how to drive the car. Parking, maneuvering, hacking, parking, highway driving, garage driving, heavy traffic, light traffic. But the topics that we are discussing here, as prescribed by the LTO, we have no time uh, to teach all this, this inside the car. Dapat sa ng kotse magdadrive ka lang. But here, for one hour and a half, you are just there uh, listening to the lecture. But we cannot force everybody to attend. Sometimes you make it optional, it's up to you. Anyway, this is free, attend. Kahit na natapos ka na mag-drive for several years, if you feel the need to attend, come back, you attend. But every time you attend the lecture, when you go home, especially it's rainy season, it's 9 o'clock, 9.30 in the evening, and pag talaga ka, your parents are always worried about you. So, nung dumati ka ng 9.30, nandun na yung dati mo sa pinto, nagbabantay siya, wala. 9.30 na, siya ka parang galit niya. Sa socialize o. Socialize. 9.30 na gabi. Nasa socialize ka. Di ba kanina ng umagang driving mo? Di ba talagang meron kami na lecture na seminar sa gabi? Because sometimes, it's a path 
that there are lots of young drivers now, whenever they have the day, they have to make the day pag wala silang alibay, itong gagamitin nilang alibay. Nasa socialize ako. Three years na siyang nag-rabway. <laughs> Basta nalit, nasa socialize ako. Kaya kung siya magagpapukulang kung tatawag dito, talaga ba yung anak ko, three years nang nag-aakin ang siya ng atyan? <laughs> Bakit mo naman? Kaya three years na siya nag-aakin, hindi ba ba tapos yan? <laughs> Kaya nga pinapipirma kayo ng LTO doon eh. Atenda. Para kung may magamit sa iyo, at least alam nila kung nag-aatay ka doon. Oo. Eh kung kung mag-malilate ka, uh, socialize ka na socialize. Nagtatakla sila, 3 years ka lang nag-graduate. Nagtatrive ka na uh, for 3 years. Oo. But pag doon tayo dati mo, how do I know that you are in attending the lecture? Baka naman nasa siyumar ka lang. Uh, then that nag-aatay ako talaga. O kung nag-aatay ka, can I ask you a single question? Because if you are attending the seminar, I'm sure, tinuro sa inyo ito. O sige, that's the only question. Alam ko yan. Yeah. Okay, it's just a simple question. Sabi ng daddy mo. What's the question? What is the law on speed? Sabi ng daddy mo. What is the law on speed? Which is a basic law. Every driver must know this law. Uh, what is the law on speed? Ano ba ang batas sa pagpapabilis? Alam mo dahil kung ang absent ata ng lokalokan na sa sumarga, nagtunod ka lang, nagnalambir na ka lang, hindi ka nag-aate. That's the question na. Under the basic speed law, you must never drive faster than one. Under the basic speed law, you must never drive faster than letter A, which is safe letter B, than the posted speed limit. Letter C, all of the above. Under the basic speed law, you must never drive faster than letter A, which is A, letter B, than the posted speed limit, letter C, all of the above. The answer is letter C, all of the above. So if somebody asks you, What is the law on speed? Under the answer is supposed to be like this. Under the basic speed law, you must never drive faster than, which is A, and than the posted speed limit. That is the basic law on speed. You must never drive faster than, which is A, and than the posted speed limit. In Tagalog, hindi ka pwedeng magpabilis na nakakatakot na ang bilis mo. At hindi ka rin pwedeng magpabilis sobra sa bilis na binigay ng gobyerno. So whenever you see the speed sign uh, 50 kilometers per hour, you have to follow that speed limit. If you go beyond that, mali na yan. So to summarize the law, uh, dapat you have to memorize the law. Under the basic speed law, you must never drive faster than which is safe and than the posted speed limit. That is the law on speed. So, if your father asks you, what is the law on speed? Do not say all of the above. <laughs> Although that is the answer here, all of the above. That is not the law on speed. driving along the highway, and the highway has three lanes. One, two, three. What do you call the number three lane? Service. The service road is an additional lane. It is not part of the lane. At least it's only used for emergency. <coughs> We call this outermost right lane. Outermost right, right lane. This one, innermost left lane. This one, center lane or middle lane. Okay? So, outermost right lane, innermost left lane, center lane or middle lane. Question. If you intend to drive slower, not faster, if you intend to drive slower than the other vehicles, which lane do you use? One, two, three. three. Number three. Outermost right lane. 
So if you intend to drive slower than the other vehicle, you should use the outermost right lane. However, if you intend to drive faster than the other vehicle, you should use the outer innermost left lane. Next, how much is the penalty if you are caught driving under the influence of vehicle or narcotic drugs? How much is the penalty for that? Letter A, 2,000 pesos or imprisonment of not more than six months. Letter B, imprisonment of not more than six months. Letter C, suspension of your driver's license for one month. The answer is letter A, that's correct. Huh? So, the moment you are caught driving under the place of liquor or narcotic drugs, first offense, 2,000 pesos or imprisonment of not more than six months. Uh, in most developed countries, especially in the United States, they are so strict about this. The moment you are caught driving under the place of liquor, much more drugs, but most of them, liquor. Uh, uh, it will be, uh, you will be charged in court, and you have to attend the hearing, and it's a big penalty, and you will not forget this for the rest of your life, it will be a mark against your character for the rest of your life as a citizen. Every time you have, uh, you have a case against you, that uh, uh, the case will always be open. Uh, you were caught one time driving under the place of legal. And there is no exception. Even if you are a popular guy, if you are a celebrity, uh, then you cannot get away from this violation under their law. There is a strict about this. Now, before, the allowable in this stage is three kinds of beer, papasaka, three kinds. Pero may strict na sila, isang bote lang, isang kala, papagsaka na. Talaga kaya mga kanila, because there are lots of death caused by uh, uh, drug driving. If you remember during the time of President Clinton, Chelsea, a beautiful daughter, was apprehended driving under the place of liquor. She was the drug. Uh, alam mo, pagbata ka, teenager ka, May pants, may pants, pants, yung pants na kinakanya lang. Yung, hindi naman alcohol yun eh. At juice lang yun eh. Pero may konting alcohol yun. May sumobrang alcohol ng bata na si Tasha. Considering, uh, she's the daughter of the president. Uh, she was charged in court. Under place of liquor. Because the moment I do ka, by the law, they will ask you to breathe. Pero siya ng alcohol prefer. Pag lumampas ang milligram na yan, Pag lumumpas ka sa one bottle, arestado ka. Yeah. They have to check your alcohol contents. If it is not within that limit, they cannot charge you. Pero pag sumobra ka, uh, they, arrest, they will, uh, they will uh, arrest really uh, what? Itatalik ka talaga. Hmm. Pero mga Pilipino, isang case na pumapasa pa yun. <laughs> Wala ka sa mga Pinoy. Eh. Pag naka, nakapasa ka, uh, uh, they will... Uh, Uh, 
uh, if you are reading this paper, weekly, monthly, uh, uh, one o'clock, uh, after four o'clock in the morning, those coming from this young, uh, young uh, student coming from the beach, yung mga naging kibig-kibig sa libis, uh, alam mo yung mga bata ngayon, uh, pagkabinato na sila sa libis, at umiinom sila, at pag alas stress na alaw maka, lasing na sila lahat, umuwi sila, at marami na namamatay ng bata sa atin. Kumisan, uh, mga college student, high school student, yung mga gumigibig dyan. So if you are uh, part of them, uh, at lasing sila lahat, always you drink, one of you will not be drinking. Dapat siyang magmamaneho. Next. What is a driver's license? Ano daw ang lisensya? To own a driver's license is letter A, an honor. Letter B, a right. Letter C, a privilege. Of course, it is not an honor to have a license. Why? Because everybody has a license. So the answer is either letter B or letter C, a right or a privilege. Now, before you give your answer, first we have distinguished uh, depression is two terms. What is the difference between a right or a privilege? Like some of you are college students. Enrolled by the university, accepted by the school <coughs> as the student. Is that your right to be accepted or only a privilege? It is only a privilege. It is, only a privilege. It is not your right to be accepted. Since it is not the right, it's only a privilege, then you have to follow the, the rules of the university. If you are always late, you are always cheating, you are always fighting with your professor, huh? and you don't even uh, keep your minimum grade requirements, the school has the right to expel you from that university because it is only a privilege. Residing in your own house, is that a right or a privilege? It is a right. So even if you are crazy, stupid, sex maniac, or whatever, they cannot ask you to leave the house dahil may karapatan ako ah, sa pamamahay na ito. However, if you are only residing in dormitory, the uh, door, the boarding house, then it's only a privilege. If you cannot even keep the curfew hour of your landlady, the next morning, nakatapon na lahat sa bintana ang mga damit mo, they will not accept you anymore. Because it's only a privilege. The same thing is true in driving. The moment you are given a license, please be careful. It is not a right. It's only a privilege given to you by the government. Since it is not a right, it's only a privilege, then you have to follow the rules of the road. Always follow traffic rules and regulations. If every time you drive your car, nakakapatay ka ng tao, kung hindi mo makita, gusto mo ka, papatay. Araw-araw nakakasampu ka. Basta hindi mo sa gusto, sasakasahan mo siya. The government has the right to remove that license, to remove that privilege and they will revoke that license, they will not issue ticket, and you cannot drive anymore for life. So please be careful. It is not because you are given a license, 